Yeah, we're good. Um, yeah, I'm in a hole. <laughs> That's a good one. Scared the wife a bit, scared me a bit, went a lot farther over and I kind of thought it was gonna really front gonna tires float. off the ground. I just caught the edge, the caught the edge a little bit and uh, sucked, sucked me in, yeah. I'm gonna have to steer into it and drive all the way into it and then drive up through. I, I'm gonna have to have Steven try to pull me because I don't have my winch hooked up. Good morning, everybody. It's day two of our trip. As promised, here we are again. Aaron down, it's just me and my buddy Steven today. He's got his Jeep on 37s. A couple people up here already started for the day. Um, they're not with us today, so it's just gonna be us two. Everybody says it's impossible to get to Lake Philbrook today, so we're gonna see if we can do it anyway. Um, I'm gonna air down, probably just start off at four pounds today. Uh, I ran in them at six yesterday, and I think I feel like I can go lower, so I air down to four, and uh, we'll see how we do. All right, we're in the snow. Air down. Nice and squatty. I just want to show you guys, no bead locks, right? No bead locks. And we are, I think, at four and a half pounds. Five. So no bead locks, five pounds. And the beads are taped up, so we'll see how they do. I'll let you guys know. You'll see. And I won't hide nothing. If I, if I lose a bead, you'll see. I'll let you know. yesterday we're already here it's only about 10 o'clock in the morning um, we're from now on from here on out it's gonna get a little hairy I think um, I'll videotape down on the way to Philbrook but we're going down to Philbrook at least try I heard there's a couple of holes up here that are about the size of a car so um, we'll see if we can get through it apparently a guy yesterday on 46 has had to winch out and couldn't make it through so we're gonna give it a shot at least uh, videotape it, see if we can get stuck, get ourselves out of there. Might have to hook up the winch today if, if things go bad. Um, the tires still sitting at four and a half pounds, squatting good, starting to crease a little bit. You know, the footprint's nice and wide. Everybody, I, I'm sorry I said you guys were all wrong because these skinnier IROX do way better than the fun countries. They grip more and I'm not floating around everywhere anymore. A little windy out here so sorry bear with me if you can't hear me very well i just wanted to take a walk down this bridge real quick and show you why we like to come up here um, this is like it's just it's the easiest way for us to kind of just forget and let go and and you know kind of have a reset and just realize that not everything's about working your life away you know you need to come up and do things like this and just spend some time quality time with your friends and your family doing the things you love because life's too short 
I mean, look at this. This is freaking amazing. I absolutely love it. In the summertime, we'll come down over there. Um, we'll camp down over there. There's a couple camp benches and stuff. Uh, we love it. It's it's awesome over here. Um, it, it literally is. This is like some of the best best times of our lives. And just being able to be around stuff like this, there's nothing like it. Tire's still rolling at four pounds. Doing good. So before coming up here today, I was told by my dad from a third party that this trip uh, may, get, may get cut short. Um, they said that there was a bit of a hole. And, you know, I, I yeah, I'm just going to show you guys. I, I can't talk about it. It's a fucking hole. And it's a big hole. And on top of that, who knows how deep that water is. Let's not do that. Woo. Like nothing. Putting the seatbelt on. <laughs> <laughs> I went, I went, I went, no seatbelt. That's a big hole. We all pack up. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a hole. That was nothing. I like almost want to go stand in it to just show how deep it is but I don't want to get in it. <laughs> yeah, that, he's only, what, six foot two? And you only can see the top half of you from the, from the snow. Uh, I'm on my side. This is the most tilted you've ever been. Yeah, it didn't flip, but... If that snowbank wasn't there, we might have. might have. That was scary. I didn't know, I don't know how that happened. We got sucked into the ditch. Yeah. It's a deep ditch. Fuck, that's a big-ass hole. I'll show you guys when we get out.